My name is João Gonçalves, and on behalf of Icon Group, uh, I would like to show you Soil Risk, our landslide mapping and forecasting application. So we came to try to solve a problem, the problem of landslides. We see that this problem is getting worse and global warming uh, is contributing to uh, increased heavy rainfalls and weather events and causing more landslides. Currently, landslide susceptibility maps typically have a low resolution, which means the civil authorities have to work with these large extents with a low resolution, which are not very accurate, and they uh, work with them uh, from a static perspective. Our presented solution is Soil Risk, a high-resolution predictive model application that gathers data from different sources and converts them into valuable intelligence that is able to forecast and uh, geolocate future landslides. For the technical feasibility study, we selected two islands in the archipelago of the Azores. To train our model, we had to gather a lot of information of past landslide activity, as well as a lot of conditioning factors from different sources. The output of our model was a high resolution very accurate uh, representation of the landslide susceptibility. In the assessment of our model, we can see that uh, we have a high sensitivity and high accuracy for our landslide susceptibility map. But the landslide susceptibility map is only half the solution. The other half is an early warning system that is able to forecast landslide events. In order to develop this system, we built a decision tree with the following conditioning factors in order of importance. On the left side of the slide, we can see our decision tree, in this case, for the uh, landslide susceptibility index uh, being equal to five. And as we can see, for different intervals of our conditioning factors, we can derive the, the risk. What all of this means is once we have the landslide susceptibility map and the decision tree, we can show a dynamic map that only highlights the areas as having a high risk. I'm going to now log into the application to perform a quick demo. So this is the soil risk application that shows a 3D map of the São Miguel Island and of Tricera Island. As you can see, we have uh, three days of clear uh, a clear map that means no landslides but if we click on the example we can see that there is uh, quite a high risk of landslide in some areas this example by the way is hurricane lorenzo that passed through the azores and uh, caused uh, a lot of landslides this visualization shows the base susceptibility map and the decision tree working together to highlight only those pixels that show real susceptibility depending on the various conditioning factors and the meteorological forecast. There is also the possibility of creating areas of interest by drawing a shape of, on the map and then configuring some alerts notifications to be issued when there is a prediction of a landslide in this area for the next three days. So with this solution, it is possible that we can predict future landslides and alert the civil authorities, showing on a map the areas where there is more susceptibility. Soil Risk has been developed by a highly talented team. In this team, we have Earth Observation Specialists, a software engineer and a business developer to develop the Soil Risk application. 